Make it so, number one. Welcome back to Let's Play Halcyon 6, Starbase Commander with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we'd started to claw the situation back to a more positive end, but at the same time, it's not that positive. We're at kind of at a stage where if you spent too long pissing around an next com and it all fucks up really hard and yeah, that's about it really. Um, basically, there are cruel absolutely everywhere. Uh, we need to try and get into one of these spires in order to stop them from spawning everywhere because basically now they're just shitting themselves everywhere. Uh, missions include basically dealing with Centaurus Connolly, dealing with Cat's Eye, you know, it's, it's not good. So what we're doing is we're just trying to cope under the pressure, we're trying to just build ourselves up as much as we can. Uh, luckily we do have good officers, we are trying to basically get our ships up to higher tiers and all that lovely good stuff. Uh, so basically right now we've got fleets going here, there and everywhere. We've got a colony raid fleet already on its way to the starbase, we've also got the uh, 13th fleet on its way home, we need to get the junk heap upgraded for that would be something good to do. And we've also got the 14th fleet, which is currently stationed, so we're going to send them somewhere. We're going to send them to Centaurus, actually, because that needs dealing with. Uh, well, they've got ghasts and smashes there, and these ships are already uh, not doing so well. It might actually be better idea just to get a new... Uh, yeah, well, you know, we're going to build a new ship, I think. Uh, so let's quickly jump in with our ship construction and get some shit done. Or we can actually quickly check and see what our other notifications are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, a lot of shit's going wrong. And we've got no pending event. That's not very good. So, let's uh, quickly just get a new ship underway. So, we're going to build a tier 2 science ship first things first. So, I can't afford them because I've got no fucking crew. <laughs> right. We'll send the 14th fleet to quickly grab some spare crew then. I've also got some extra material. I'm going to have that fleet just stare around and just make sure it gets ready for the incoming annoyance. That is more crappy cruel just coming to ruin our lives. How long have I got left before Cat's Eye burn? I mean, sorry, uh, Centaurus burns out, right? Let's just get the 14th fleet, just pick it up as much as we can because, um, yeah, I really need to get some shit done. Um... Let's just get, let's just pick up even more crew. See, I would have satellites going around, but now that crew keep attacking the starbase, then it's, it's just making shit worse. And yeah, morale once more, it's uh, it's tanked, and we need to deal with this. So, send you fleet, 13th fleet, uh, get your asses out there, and get repaired. And here we go, get more crew. Uh, it doesn't help as well, but we've basically got mass mutiny going on. You're on your way home, but here we go. First battle of the day. Right, so it's got two of these fucking annoying spiky bastards. So let's start off by just getting a nice protective field on so we don't have our hulls breached a thousand million times. That's always a good thing, and our hull just already got breached. So we're already off to a brilliant start. So let's just bullseye this fella and just wipe out half of his health. And we're going to just bombard it with a flat barrage. We're just going to get rid of the spikes because all they do is sit around and just smash your hulls. We'll also bend space time just to give ourselves a bit more of an advantage to try and get the uh, science ship to do more support and then they actually get all their turns so that's more hulls being breached or being unaffected right cripple this ship out of the game doom right one down one more spike to go and then we'll work on big fella right flack him flack him flack him flack him flack him good hits and then yeah we're being beamed we're being the uh, junk heap is quite good at resisting shit at least. We can also start torturing shit, so yeah, let's just do some torture. Boop. Yeah, that's the overpowered beam of uh, fucking everything up, except it does shit all. Right, go for a bullseye again. That always seems to do a lot of damage. Boom, done. Right. Start warping the basher. See if we can... Uh... There you go, right. Crew's panicking. And we can exploit that with a good old shock mine. And it seems that, well, we, we exploited it, but it didn't really do a lot for us. Right, let's start. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We need to inflict them. Let's get their engines down. Once more by just basically breaking the dimensions into little tiny little pieces, because that's always a safe thing to do. Breach and harpoon them. Kaboom. There you go, hull's breached. So a nice portal gun will definitely hurt them now, so get that in. Alright, he's nearly down. Cripple. Boom. And uh, flack it. Bish bash biddly bosh. 
See, we can stand up to a cruel at least. Just need to make some quick repairs, and then we can we can get this fleet moving actually. Uh, so, 13th fleet, can you? I think they're already on their way home. So, yeah, blah blah blah. Right, 13th fleet is going to go deal with Centaurus because that needs to be dealt with now. Otherwise, we're going to lose another fucking facility. Repair them, and we've got basically it's just like they sat around feeding off us. Right, here's some more cruel to deal with. By the way, it's a psychic font, which means crew panicking isn't really going to work, so we're not really going to bother with uh, all the warping of the atomic structures. We're going to get rid of ghasts first, since they're um, they're good at healing shit, and that's always annoying. Uh, by the way, they're going to take damage over time now, since that's what torture does, and yeah, that was evaded good, and that wasn't so good. Right. Get their uh, things disrupted, by the way, and that should actually allow any further tortures just to exploit them further. Uh, we are dealing with some tanky as fuck ships, so, so it's not going to make our life easy. So we're going to get a protective field out as well, so we can just try and uh, resist some damage, because we're definitely going to need to do some healing. On, I mean, yeah, shit, that ship's already nearly down. Uh, he can tune himself up the next turn, so we're all right there. So, right, you, get yourself, let's see, we can do tune-up, salvage, smoke, repair drone, overdrive, right? Get yourself repaired. Just get your drones out there, get them working, you know, working, oh... Right. Cauterize. I feel like the crew. Oh, God. What is it with. This new tactic of just bullying one ship is really fucking annoying, by the way. Right. Cripple the ghast. Right. Engines are down. Right. I'd say flack him, but you're going to have to tune yourself up again because you are just you are just in such a bad way right now. And we are going to go for an ablative field. Yeah, ablate him. Right, that might help the engineering ships survive a little. Oh, ah, great. Rock'em, sock'em, fuck'em, right. We're not going to last much longer in this battle. Let's try and get at least one ship down, though. If we can get one ship down, we can run away, repair, and come back with a fresh set of ships. At least that's to hurt, but to be honest, it's not looking good for us. I mean, yeah, I'm taking a big risk just staying here now. He's, right, he's losing his ability to resist. Um... Right, cripple him, and cauterize. Ah, he's healing himself up as well. That's really fucking annoying. Right, ah, don't dare evade me. All oh, right, at least at least some of our other ships are evading. Right, we can bring one of them down at least. And yeah, it could be worse. It it it's pretty much as bad as it's gonna get. Torture him. He resisted the torture. That's annoying. Still took a fair bit of damage for her, but no oh shit. Right. You need to get uh right, try and deconstruct their hull. Brilliant, that's their hull deconstructed, right? You need to heal yourself up and hope for the best. We are gonna still get rid of that little fucker down there. Right, we nearly got him down. You are gonna Right, no, critical. We're going down, we're going down, we're losing a ship. Right. As much as I want to stay in this battle, you take emergency ev evasive manoeuvres. It's gonna be such a gap. No, retreat. You know what? Retreat. Ah! And we went down. I left it too late. Oh, don't you dare go down. Two ships went. Well, one ship went down, two got away. Another officer's down. Morale drops even further. We need to get a new one. And now... Oh, great. Now he can't resist... Yeah, he is cruel prey, that guy. Right, we've lost Centaurus. It's fair to say that. And we need to get in and we need to get some more recruitment done because... Yeah. Uh, promote a replacement officer. Get it done. This is not not good whatsoever. Like, right, Regulus is now under attack. We've got some more crew, at least. Not enough to build a new ship, though. And they're just going to... Well, actually, no, we have enough to build a new ship, right? Get that done now. Get a tier 2 source. Oh, shit, we don't have enough dark matter now. Tier 2 engineering ship? No. Uh, tier 2 tactical ship? Oh, can't afford anything! Uh, we need to go to a quasar and pick up more resources, but one of them's under fucking attack. We're running out of dark matter sources. That's really fucking shit. Um... And the fleet of Cat's Eye is gonna it's gonna wreck us. Um, 
I think right now we are staring death right in the face. And to be honest, I think at that point it's going to be where we uh, call it a day on this game. Not this, well, I say that. We're not going to call it a day on playing uh, Halcyon 6. I mean, we're going to move on to the Lightspeed Edition. Right, we need to replace the status officer. Rod and Tesla, welcome to the crew. Uh, search at Beta Galise Prime when it experienced its animals, transdimensional warp storm waves. Rod and Tesla's account of what happened informed much recent theory regarding to the psychological uh, paraphrase in uh, such phenomena, including the breakdown of chronological awareness. He's received multiple honours as a result, but that doesn't help the fact that he still can't tell the time. Sounds like the perfect member for my crew event. He can siphon dark matter at Blade to field and he's access to the spin manoeuvre. That's a good trick. Uh, ground psionic blast transfusion. Yeah. I'm never really very interested in the ground things, but I'm guessing ground combat's going to start becoming more of a thing. You better not disappoint me, Rodan. And he's actually going to need a fucking ship anyway, so um, I might even just have to build a tier 1 science ship just to keep him going because I don't think I have any left in the garage. Uh, so... I'm going for whatever has more hull this time around. We need, like, start building an acolyte. Right. Let's just get shit moving. And, oh, yeah, one of our little uh, satellites is still doing shit. That's good. Right. Time for another quick fight or long fight or just a fight. That will hopefully not end up with me, like, dying. But we're at interval system, which means we're not really going to be wiping out any sensors in a hurry. But first, we're going to start siphoning some damage because I need that shit. I'm fucking thirsty. Like, I am super duper thirsty for Dark Matter. Right, good. Cruise panicking, which means they're going to start just taking a little bit of damage and they're cruise panicking, so yeah, we're going to exploit that shit in a minute. Right, bullseye it. I say I don't like the cruel tactic of just bullying one ship at a time, but I just do the exact same thing as well, I've just realised. Ah, anti-ironic. Right, anyway, exploit that. Right, says it's not effective, just basically rebounded that, and yeah, the uh, engineering ship's already basically fucking dying, but... We are going to get this ship fucking wiped out now. Get their weapons disrupted. Nearly got one down. Darn, by the way. Darn, indeedy. Tune yourself up before you get killed. Because everyone hates you already. Like, seriously, why? Right. I think at this point, we're just going to have to stop bringing engineering ships to battles because they seem to just really, really, really get a lot of shit given to them. Right, clip us down at least. One down, more to go. Uh, right. Get a... Get a repair drone overdrive on yourself or on someone, I don't care. Uh, holes being breached again, right. What the atomic structure. Right, resisted any tr chance to get the crew pipe, but like triple shot, start, start working that gas down as well. He's only a young lad, but he's also an annoying lad, right. Deconstruct their hull. Good, their hull's breached, we'll exploit, well, I'd say I'll exploit that, but right now, some hulls need cauterizing, so let's get that dealt with. Right, bullseye of that clipper, boom, right. Still got a chance, still got a chance, we might be able to do this one. Flack him. Right. Get a virus up, oh wait, virus isn't going to do shit, fuck me. Oh well, does a little bit of damage, and a little bit of damage is always helpful. Right, fo focus your uh, beams. Critical hit, that was brilliant, and right, we're about to get critted there as well. Right, try and keep bringing that guy down. Um, bullseye, the clipper. Good, clipper's out, right. You, cauterize your own hull so you can keep yourself in the game. Ugh, weapons were disrupted there. Right, keep keep hitting this guy. we just got to bring this big fella down and then we are done and we are won. Done and won, fun and fun. Cauterize a hull of the replaced, by the way. Just keep him up, keep him up to speed, because there we go. As usual, he'll just basically get fucking bullied back into the ground. Right, focus beams, they do... Ah, oh, fuck me, right. Uh, right, do that. Siphon dark matter, so we could just do a little bit of damage over turn. Just keep him weakened. There we go, and the crew's panicked, so we can exploit that with some lovely, lovely fucking blowy uppy drones. Uh, disrupt his weapon systems as well, or just... Pretend that you managed to do that, right? We just throw everything we've got at him, we'll win this one, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not, right? Uh, let's get the uh, crew panics exploited. There we go. Didn't do a lot, but it did something at least. And, oh, fucking bloody tentacle evade thingy. That is some ball that shite there, right? Deconstruct this hole. Come on, get it done. 
How'd you miss all those? Oh, fuck, he's healing himself up as well, right? Try this again and don't fuck it up. Right, ineffective that time. That's annoying me, but it's all right. We've still got, we've still got an ability to do it. There we go. Keep it up, moron. Yeah. Let's just bully the enemy to death. Right, portal. And... Could go for fire at will. Yeah, fire at will. There we go. That that was a lot of parts of him just basically flying away. Now his engines are down. Blow him out. Done. Not getting your hands on this little area, my friends. Well, you're not my friends. You're my enemies. And that dark matter will uh, help me out. By where Rimmer is now fast and furious, which means he lives his life at a quarter mile at a time. Whatever the fuck that means, but he's speedier now. And um, there's no crew currently available for us to pick up. So, right. Uh, we could use some more materials, though. So, 13th or 14th fleet, sorry. If you could just quickly go and pick some materials up, that'd be fantastic. And a new acolyte is ready. Give that to Red and Tesla. And that means we can get moving. So, right. Uh... What the hell are we even going to attack? Well, we could actually have another go at this colony raid fleet. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to get that dealt with. So send the 13th fleet. Uh, 13th, yeah, you've got the Iron Ronin. You've also got the Acolyte. We've also got the SNM, but that's got no crew. Uh, right. This is going to be tough. Tough indeedy. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that we can actually maybe just pop in to help us. Look at all those lovely things uh, that we have. Basically, we've got fucking loads of morale penalties. We've got a slight uh, morale bonus, though. I don't really know why, but um, apparently we do. We've also got some lovely elite crew, which just makes shit slightly better for us. It's like a nice little RPG, isn't it? Um, yeah, we could edit ship powers if we wanted to. Maybe we could just give ourselves brace, disintegrate hull. Actually, that'd be a good one to have instead of shock mine. No, actually, I like having shock mines. Uh, but then again, no, actually, no. Let's get rid of that, because I want that. Uh, we could also release the mines, exploit dead engines, uh, disable counter masses. That just makes us vulnerable. Uh... Yeah, never. No, I'll do. Uh, Acolyte, let's just have a quick uh, breezy on your powers. By the way, what is this lovely cloudy one? Adaptive armor that just makes you a little stronger. Well, cauterize hull is always a need. I do like having a portal cannon, disruptor beam, torture is always really cool as well. Uh, yeah, we'll go with torture. Off well, I think. Oh wait, I think I need to give the uh, officer a few powers as well. Uh, let's just make sure that we're doing the best that we can with this one as well. Let's give ourselves a focus beam because that's really good. Triple shot. Teleport explosives. Um, disabling strike. Cripple shot. Yeah, I like the cripple shot. Right. There we go. Right, that's looking good. Uh, right, by the way, Red and Tesla, I'm going to just give you some new power. So you've got the Ablative Field, you've got Siphon Dark Matter, you've got Ship Man oh, sorry, the Spin Maneuver, or the Ship Maneuver. No, I'm just kidding, because it's really useful. Right, new 13th Fleet, all well and good and amazing. You are going to go... Well, I said I was going to deal with a, one of these, but I just realised these are actually the big fucking strong ones. Uh, which are all Tier 3, which basically means I can't do shit. Um, no, instead we're just going to go and deal with Eater. Uh, because I need me some dark matter. Because if I run out of dark matter, then um, we're fucked. Uh, fleet configuration, unfortunately, unavailable. No, I mean this one there. Right. Repair them. Uh, pick up those materials, by the way. And then get yourselves home for some quick repairs. And then we're going to have to do something that's useful. But for now, we are going to usefully get rid of these unuseful fucking... Well, we'll just get rid of the bastard, right? There we go. You're tortured now. That's going to start draining his health. And we are going to... Let's sabotage the ship. Boom. Explosives were teleported on board. Uh, right. Disintegrate the hull. Start a deconstruction. I, wanna get, I, I know in a way I want to get rid of gas. But also get rid of the Elder Basher. Because the Basher's got loads... Of, well, both of them have got like way loads of health. Like more health than I could ever dream of. Um, but this guy usually just causes me no end of issues when he starts attacking us. So... I'm going to do that. We've got the crew panicked as well, so we're going to be able to exploit that shit in a minute. But first of all, let's disrupt his weapons. Giving you a hell of a lot of things. By the way, the trait today is as resistance to having the engines wiped out, which is a shame. So instead, what I'm going to do right now is just, just make their hull disintegrate. And that is the amount of damage I want to see coming up. Well, I want to see more damage than that at the end of the day. But you know, that's still quite a fair bit of damage that we did there. Right, portal him. He evaded it, but he's still not doing too well. And then that thing just fucking brooded him back to life. But it's alright. 
he's losing health faster than he's recovering it, so... There we go, we haven't even had to heal or do anything stupid yet, but then again, if I, have to, if I just say that, we are now going to get, like, an absolute royal fucking so, um... Yeah, by the way, how the hell do we get morale back up? Because, um... Yeah, if only we could build, like, happy things to distract the crew or something. Just to stop everyone from being so miserable, but I guess that's what happens when your entire galaxy gets absolutely fucked by evil blobby aliens from the fucking Neverworld. Uh, right, it's getting a little tight now, so can you just keep trying to cripple him, cauterize your hull back to a more appropriate condition, and you you need to start getting some repair drones working on your ship, otherwise you're going to start having some big issues very soon. Nice evasion, by the way. Right, cripple this one out of the skies. Boom, done. Right, time to do with Mr. Gast. The ones that make the really fucking weird noises on Minecraft and honestly always can completely... No, I don't need to tune yourself. Alright, damn. The Acolyte's not doing well, but it's alright. By the way, I didn't really rename it. We're going to call it the Acolyte for now. To be honest, I think at this stage I don't even have the time or energy to be renaming ships. Triple shot because I just like wasting my time, but then again that just did a nice and chunky amount of damage. Right, get yourself healed up, otherwise you're going you're gonna to go down. Mr. Cat tell the time because right now it is time for you to uh, try to not to die and do it one last time right I am really burning through my heal powers but I don't really have a lot of option right cripple it right how much long is it still going to be breached it's, it's, it's taking a lot of damage at least 45 damage per round right get it exploited there we go nice little combo there right let's see Get the weapons destructed as well, so then maybe he'll uh, lose access to some of his annoying things. It also means that he does less damage as well. Uh, Alright, deconstruction. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't really have anything to exploit dead, dead, uh, dead things, but you know what? Well, how do you exploit a dead thing anyway? Through necromancy, of course. Right, ooh, that was not so good for you, by the way, my son. Uh, right, exploit the disrupted weapons, by the way, with spinning. That was a pretty good thing. Uh, we exploited that quite nicely and managed to do a fair amount of damage. Could do more, but at the same time, we're, we're doing what we can. Don't you try and hit about 100 damage every turn, except we're not really, but... Doing what we can, and to be honest, that thing's not looking so good, and it just fucking heals itself back up again, but it's alright. So I just crippled him, we're going to deconstruct him. There we go, hull breach, exploit the hull breach, boom. Not good there, right, focus. Right, portal. Papoons! There we go, I'm gonna bring down that whale of a ship. Right. Finish off with a crippling shot. Boom, done. Quiz our save. Get that down at back to the Halcyon. And then we're just gonna sit there and just pray to God that we don't die. Still eat us safe. Get that dark matter. Oh wait, there's no dark matter left. Fuck me. Still good, Hat Bass got promoted and Ibrahim Medici is ready for his next promotion, so we are going to make his uh, we're going to upgrade his dimensional flashbang, so now it just basically does loads of damage. Like It's like a mini big bang now. Um, so yeah, 100% damage now. Basically, he's working at full capacity on that one. Happy days, happy days, happy days. Right. I think that's about three... Well, no, we lost a fight, really. That's a lot of cruel clobbered for... And we've also been clobbered by the cruel, and now... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gerha also needs promotion. So Gerha, I'm gonna improve your repair drones, and I'm also gonna. No, I want to improve your repair drones. There we go. Right. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Right. We've got no events left, but we still got a lot of shit to do. Centaurus is lost. Cat's eye. Yeah, we need to deal with. Um, I think I'm gonna send the 14th fleet to deal with that as well. So, once the 14th fleet gets home, or the 13th fleet, I mean, yeah, 13th fleet, can you get home? Basically, whoever gets home first is going to have to deal with that shit. But, at the same time, that is where we are, in fact, going to call it an episode for today. So, I hope you've enjoyed, my friends. And next time, it's more cruel housekeeping. But, to be honest, it's looking a little less chaotic than it was. And, oh, I don't like that big purple bastard. But, we're going to have to try and do what we can to try and get rid of another portal. Portals we can close, at least. But, these spires, yeah... I think we've got some permanent neighbours now. Not good. Not good at all. See you later, my friends. Now,